Hi there, this is Amber with Story Chasing, and today I'm going to show you the most powerful power station I've had my hands on yet. I'm going to review this Blue Eddy AC 200 Max power station plus their PV 350 solar panel. This Blue Eddy power station is an impressive 2,048 watt hour power station. One of the amazing things about this Blue Eddy is that it's an expandable power supply. So you can extend that power with the additional batteries up to 6,144 watt hours with a simple plug-in just on the side of the Blue Eddy. I'm not only going to show you the technical aspects of this Blue Eddy AC 200 Max, but I'm also going to show you how to discharge it, how you charge it up, and also practically how you can use this, whether you're in an RV, a van, or your home. And I'm also going to answer the question, who is the best person suited for this type of power station? Okay, one of the very first things that I wanna start with is the really cool factor. I haven't seen this on any other power station yet. This right here is a 30 amp plug-in. My van has a 30 amp plug so what does that mean i can charge my van off of this battery that's unheard of i'm so impressed with that First, I wanna go over all of the ways that you can charge your Blue Eddy power station. The first one that I wanna talk about is the expansion port. So there's two expansion ports here on the side. If you buy their extra batteries, you can plug them right into this Blue Eddy. You can totally increase how much power you have on your battery. The other way is with a solar input. So if you have a solar panel, you can plug it right here into this port up to 900 watts maximum. The other way to charge it is with the AC adapter that's up to 500 watts. Another cool factor about this is you can actually charge the Blue Eddy with the AC power supply at 500 watts plus your solar panels at the same time with a total power input of 1400 watts. Now, of course, that's if your solar panels are bringing in full sun. Blue Eddy has really outdone themselves on this one too. They actually use an MC4 connector for your solar panels. So you can use any solar panel that has the MC4 connection. That is a really big game changer for this battery. Another way you can charge this is through the power supply that they've supplied that goes directly into a cigarette lighter. Now, you're not gonna be able to charge a very fast with a cigarette lighter because you're just not going to have a lot of input from that but it is a way for you to charge the battery one of the other things that i really love is the recharge time on this blue eddy it is super fast just with your 500 watt ac adapter you're going to recharge in under six hours when i got this it was 63 percent full it took me two hours to get it from 63 percent all the way up to 100 percent that's pretty darn fast solar panels are going to take you anywhere between three Three and three and a half hours depending on how much sun of course is hitting those solar panels a car outlet as i was saying before not going to give you a quick charge anywhere between 10 to 20 hours but where this shines is doing the dual charge with the ac adapter and the solar panels you are going to recharge this to 100 percent between two to two and a half hours again depending on how much sun is hitting those solar panels Okay, so the next technical spec is how do you actually discharge the battery and power your devices or charge your devices? So Blue Eddy gives an impressive seven ways you can actually charge your devices. The first one is through this 30 amp plug that I was showing you earlier. You can actually plug in your van to this or any 30 amp power supply cord that you have. You also have these four AC outlets. They're 110 volts. You've got four of them for a total of 2,000 watts. You have two USB-A quick charge ports and also two regular USB-A ports. You also have one USB-C port that you can use to charge your devices. Another one is the 12 volt 10 amp car outlet, the 12 volt 10 amp DC 5521 outlet, and also what they call the RV outlet, which is a 12 volt 30 amp. Another way to charge your device is the top of the Blue Eddy. It has two areas where you can wirelessly charge your phone. Just put the phone right on top and it starts charging. Let's talk about practical uses for this Blue Eddy. I'm going to give you an example. On my van, I have 
only 200 watts of solar on top. That is not enough for me to cover all of the things that I need to charge. Now it covers most of the things that I need to charge in the van, like the refrigerator on a daily basis, and it covers any of the DC power in there, the light switches. It also will help to charge some devices that I have plugged into an outlet or power them throughout the day. But one of the problems is if it's on a cloudy day or if it's been raining, then I'm not gonna get that much solar in. So the Blue Eddy is gonna come in very handy for that on those days where I just don't have enough power coming into the van from the solar panels. Obviously you wanna make sure that this thing is charged all of the time. So when you're not even using it, make sure it's charged. I would typically do that by plugging it into my AC outlet as I'm driving or connect the solar panel to it so that if I'm just sitting somewhere and it's a very nice sunny day, I can go ahead and get some extra power into that battery so it's always topped off for me in an emergency use case or just when I'm not getting enough power into my van on those cloudy days. This is the Blue Eddy solar power panel. It's a foldable solar panel that has these stands on it right here that come out. Nice heavy duty Velcro. Fold these out. You have the kickstands here. Your panels are out. 350 watts of solar power in one panel. All you have to do to connect the solar panel is take the cord out of the back of the solar panel. So you're gonna connect this in here. Very simple. You're gonna connect the other end to this. You're then going to connect it to the power supply that goes into the input of the Blue Eddy. So you'll connect like this and it has positive negative. So you can see it goes right in. Then you'll unscrew the input right here. You've got these two little holes that connects directly into it. You cannot mess it up. Push it in tight and Turn this to tighten up the connection. It's just that easy to connect the solar panel. That's 350 watts, way more than my 200 watts on my van. The other way that I use the Blue Eddy is that because I don't get enough power into my van for my 200 watt solar panels on top, I have a lot of devices that I have to charge that are unrelated to the van. All of my camera equipment, all of my batteries for my camera equipment, all of my phone devices, my computers, my microphones. There's so many things that I have to charge up and keep charged up all the time. So the van just typically doesn't have enough power coming in for me to do that. So I will use the Blue Eddy as a backup for that and make sure all of my devices are charged overnight. The other thing too is because my van only came with the propane stove and a microwave, which I took out and I don't actually use. I put in its place a toaster oven, which I use more often, but that pulls electricity. The other appliances that I bought were a juicer and also my instant pot that I use all the time. So I need to power those as well. So sometimes I don't have enough power in the van. So again, I'm going to use the Blue Eddy as a backup. What's great about it is because it has a 2200 watt pure sign inverter, it can handle those appliances and all of those things without any issues. That's the other thing about this Blue Eddy AC200 Max is that it has the pure sign inverter and that is really, really, really important, especially when you're charging expensive technology and electronics like my Apple computer. You want that energy to be clean and the pure sign inverter makes that energy super clean when it's charging up your devices. So having that pure sign wave inverter is really top notch. The other way to use the Blue Eddy is to use it as a complete backup emergency power source. So for example, even in my van, I had an emergency this last year where my power in my van completely went out when I was on the East Coast and I wasn't gonna be over to the West Coast for a couple of months to actually get it fixed by the guy that fixes all of the items in my van. So I need a backup power station. So this Blue Eddy can do exactly that. It can be your backup power should anything go wrong in your van or your RV. That also works for houses too. I recently had a friend who lives in the Jacksonville, Florida area, and he was looking for a power station for emergency preparedness because Hurricane Ian was coming in. So if you're in an area where your electricity tends to go out, either because of hurricanes or snow or huge thunder and lightning storms, getting a backup power supply is really key, especially if you have a refrigerator full of food or you might 
be in the middle of winter and you need a heat source, if you don't have a fireplace, you can plug in a little heater to this or some way to keep warm. So it has so many amazing uses for it. So now I want to talk about who is this Blue Eddy AC200 Max good for? It's good for pretty much anybody. I've already touched on some of these. So van lifers, RVers, people who live in homes, it's a great backup battery source. If you're in a van or an RV, having the Blue Eddy as a backup power source is amazing or part of your main power source. One way I think the Blue Eddy can also be used if you are doing a DIY project to build out a cargo van, a cargo trailer, or a truck camper, you can use this Blue Eddy to power your entire rig without putting in expensive wiring system. It's just a plug and play system. You don't need to have an expensive wiring system. You can literally buy this, get a solar panel, plug it in and start charging that thing and use this as your main power source. It's plug and play. You don't have to know anything about electricity. And that's why I really, really love this. I'm coming out with a video soon that talks about all of the things that I would have done differently if I were starting from the beginning in van life. And one of those things, sneak peek, is building out a van and putting in something like this rather than a complicated electrical system that just quite frankly tends to break and is way more expensive than getting something like this. Plus, this is portable. Other ways that people can use the Blue Eddy is if you have a tiny home, you can do the same thing I was just talking about with building out your own rig. You can power your entire tiny home with the Blue Eddy just by plugging it into any power source and using solar panels. So you have so many various options with the Blue Eddy to use. Plus, if you have a tiny house or sticks and bricks, it's so easy to expand the power. You can also do that in a van and an RV. It's just gonna take up a little bit more room. You might wanna have a dedicated space in that van or RV for something like this. Now, speaking of portable, this power station is a hefty 67 pounds. It's not lightweight, by any means, but it does have these two handles on the side right here to pick it up. So it's pretty easy to pick up. It's just a little bit heavier. If you take into consideration inverters and batteries, anything that's equivalent to this, it is so much heavier than this 67 pounds. So they did an amazing job to pack all of that into a 67 pound box. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit lighter weight, they do have other smaller options for you. You're just not gonna have as much power, but it's gonna be a little bit more portable for you. I really love the price point that Blue Eddy has this at as well for everything that they put into the box and all of the features that they have, plus that MC4 connection for the solar panel. So you can use any solar panel you want out there, the price point is just perfect. One of the things that I really love about the Blue Eddy is that I can plug in so many devices at the same time and use them because it has that 2200 watt pure sign inverter. So I can dry my hair. I can charge my laptop while I'm drying my hair. I can charge my phone. I can plug in my flat iron all at the same time while I'm doing all of these things. So it's just super impressive what they have offered here. And if all of that wasn't great, they have an app that you can use on your phone, which you can download off of the app store for Android or for Apple devices. What I love is that you can completely control the power station using your phone. In order to use the different power options on the Blue Eddy, you need to turn on either the DC power or the AC power. So you can do that directly from your phone. You can turn it off and on, just connects via Bluetooth. You can also see the state of charge on there. You can also power off the Blue Eddy as well directly from your phone. I love that it also has this nice touch screen that you can use to power everything on and off. You can again, turn on your AC and DC modules. You can also check the state of charge and all of the information. You have a bunch of different settings as well that you can adjust depending on which power supply you're using. There's various alarms. You don't have to be an expert with electricity or power stations. Is there, is there an expert for power stations? I don't know, but very, very simple and intuitive. So as you can see, this Blue Eddy AC200 Max is packed full of all of the things that you need to power your RV, your van, or use as a backup power source at your home. So make sure you click the link in the description box and use my coupon code STORYCHASING to get your very own Blue Eddy AC200 Max. It's a very uncomplicated system and a plug and play. By the way, if you have any questions whatsoever, please drop that comment down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.